Okay, guys, we are going to be sightseeing today. Andy and Ben are going to go to their meeting, and then we're going to go back to the hotel for lunch. And I will spend the day getting to know London's history. History began on July 4th, 1776. Everything before that was a mistake. Diane suggested we tag along to London for a honeymoon. I agreed because my love for her trumps my hatred for Europe. Then she hit a phase of morning sickness that knocked her for a loop and decided to stay home. But she insisted I go and take pictures for her. All of this could have been avoided if we'd followed my plan for a honeymoon. A steak dinner, a glass of Lagavulin whiskey, then vigorous lovemaking for two hours, and we're both asleep by 8.30. The Notting Hill bus tour starts at 2, the Love Actually bus tour starts at 2.30, and oh, the Bridget Jones bus tour starts at 2.30 also. What do we do? Ron, your pick. Look, a clock. We don't have that in America. You call that a tower? Try the Sears Tower, friend. London at night. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Yes. I will take this. Uh, we don't accept American currency, sir. Of course you do. That's the most wonderful piece of paper in the world. Accept it. Very sorry, sir. Fine. Enjoy the fact that your royal overlords are a frail old woman and a tiny baby. Why are we here? Just thought you needed some fresh air, even if that air is filled with the foul stench of European socialism. You know, I know I am supposed to feel bad about what I said, but I do not. Pawnee has really been pissing me off lately. Leslie, for God's sake, you're the adult here. When your kid screams, I hate you, you don't sink to his level and yell, I hate you back. You have to be the grown up. <sighs> you're right. I know. I have to be the grown up. But it's so hard. Run! God! And nobody ever thanks you. You choose a thankless job, you can't be upset when nobody thanks you. And by the way, April thanked you. She nominated you for this award. Well, April does that all the time. She nominated Anne for Motocross Driver of the Year Award just so she could get a rejection letter. April respects you, and so do many others. Don't start chasing applause and acclaim. That way lies madness. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. I finally got you a proper wedding gift, part one of many. A train ticket? You think I want to extend my stay on this godforsaken continent? Yes, you do. If you follow that itinerary to the letter, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Well, I would offer to buy you a drink, but where the hell would that even happen? This is London, Ron. There's a pub over there. There's a pub over there. There's a pub between those two butcher shops. Let's go to that one, but we'll be stopping in those two butcher shops first. <laughs>